Hey guys, David Risley here, davidrisley.com, and uh, on I think it was Friday, I decided to post my ongoing love fest with Optimize Press, which is a uh, basically a launch theme, membership portal theme uh, for WordPress that I've now used on two different sites, and I'm actually working on a third right now where I'm decided to go ahead and use Optimize Press. It's just uh, like a Swiss Army knife for anybody looking to make money by launching a product and bringing it to market quickly, which as you guys know, if you're familiar with me at all, I think the best way to make money with a blog is to sell your own stuff. And Optimize Press helps you do that, helps you do it easily, and makes you look professional in the process. So what I wanted to do today is I wanted to actually take you behind the scenes on blogmastersclub.com. Now I just finished that launch, uh, what was it, about two, three weeks ago, um, and the entire launch was run on top of Optimized Press. Now the main squeeze page, if you go to blogmastersclub.com, that was customized. That was not default Optimized Press. I had my designer do that for me. Uh, but every other page, which I'm going to show you here, like the, the page where you download the blueprint, is, uh, is done by Optimized Press. So let's shrink the camera down and let's go over to my screen here. Now just to show you, you can see the, the domain here, blogmatchesclub.com. We are on the main uh, Optimize Press settings page. Uh, so first I want to show you that. For, you got general settings in here where you can define your logo, your header uh, image. Uh, you know, Do you want your logo to be left aligned or center, copyright text? Um, it automatically gives you places to put in your tracking codes for Google Analytics or any other analytics server that you might be using. The other really cool thing about that is the fact that it, because it's, it has um, a, a field for your header, is that you can, if you want to do split testing, you know, if any any of you have ever done split testing before, you uh, you may have used Google Website Optimizer, and it will actually have you plug in a little bit of code in the header, not the footer. Um, and if they doesn't, if the theme doesn't have a spot for that, it can make it a little bit tricky sometimes. So the good thing is that Optimize Press has that in there, so you can actually use Website Optimizer to do some split testing with this thing. Um, now the membership page options, this is what what you use if you are using Optimize Press for a membership portal. Um, I'm using this right now for the inner circle, the uh, membership portal, and it looks fantastic. It looks just like something that you would see from Powered by Kajabi or something like that. You know, we a lot of us in this market anyway, we know that Kajabi, I, in my opinion, it was launched way too early. Um, it wasn't really ready for market, and therefore a lot of people were pissed off by it. Um, Optimized Press, it has a lot of the same stuff, same design things when it comes to the membership portal, which is fantastic. It looks really professional, and if you were wanting to launch a membership site, then coupling something like Optimized Press with something that's easy, like Wishlist Member, would be awesome. Um, so you got all the, the different color settings in here, so you don't have to make your membership portal look like every other person that uses Optimized Press, um, which you know, which is good. And then you you do have blog page options. Now the thing to keep in mind is that Optimized Press does have a blog uh, theme built into it, so uh, you can run a blog on it. Now the, the, I'll be upfront with you and tell you that I, I think the blog uh, part of this theme is a little underplayed. It's not that. I mean, it's just not that fancy. So you're going to find better themes elsewhere if just the, your standard blog is what you're doing. But that's not the real strength here of Optimize Press. Optimize Press's strength is in setting up launches and membership portals and, uh, and, and things like that. It's not really designed to be your main blog template. But if you were so inclined, you probably could do it that way. Um, so now what I want to do is I want to show you this page, which is actually... A lot of you guys may have seen this. This is where you actually download my six-figure blogger blueprint, and you'll notice how I've got the, the navigation links up here and, and this nice little highlight boxes here with the download links, um, the, 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 button, the uh, buttons here for sharing it on social media, and I got a bunch of Facebook comments here for it. All this is completely default optimized press, and it's really professional. I mean, if I were to design this page by hand, it would take me a long time. And not only that, I wouldn't be able to personally do it because I am not the Photoshop guy. Um, you know, remember here on the general settings, see the logo and the header image? Well, there you go. That's exactly where they come from. 
Um, now, let me show you the actual page for the download the blueprint page. Now, one thing about Optimize Press is that you do use pages a lot more than you use posts. So your membership pages are going to be set up as pages inside of WordPress, not as WordPress posts. So if we click down here, we've got uh, my download the blueprint. And you will see the text here. Let me drag this down a bit. You'll see all the text here for that page. Uh, now, see these little highlight boxes here with the links? It uses what's called short codes to, to have that automatic formatting. And the cool thing here is if you click this little button right here, you can insert short codes easily. And Optimized Press has a boatload of them built right in. A, a lot of add to cart buttons, uh, headlines in various sizes and, and uh, fonts, content boxes, text bars, uh, lists with nice little uh, arrows and, and bullet points, uh, testimonial templates. If you're if you're doing a sales letter with Optimized Press, which it's it's killer for for a sales letter, uh, divider bars, order forms. Uh, a bunch of uh, buttons for sign up now, order now, add to cart, all the stuff. Um, you know, guarantee boxes, and here's like for membership pages if you want to, or if you're doing a membership portal, you can have a nice pre formatted thing with a nice little icon. Let's, let's say you're giving your members a downloadable PDF. Well, you can have a beautiful formatted link of that PDF with an actual PDF icon right next to it, and it's all built right into Optimized Press with these short codes. Now, if we scroll below the editor, you'll see all the power of Optimized Press. Now, if I were doing a squeeze page, you have all these settings here for squeeze pages. Um, headlines, do you want to run a video or not, you plug that in. Um, your opt-in form, uh, your you know call to actions, JavaScript warning pop-up message. That's, that's if you use one of the templates that come with Optimized Press where you can have a little video thumbnail, but if they click on it, it gives them a little JavaScript error and says click, you know, you actually have to opt in to watch this video. Um, here's the Facebook app ID, so you can actually like have Facebook comments integrated in. Um, now if we launch the, the next section here, which is for launch pages, sales letters, and memberships uh, customization, this is what you're going to use for anything that's not a squeeze page. Uh, and it has a lot of the same options for videos, uh, your, if you want to use sidebar widgets, by the way, on any of these pages, you can do it. Um, you know, so lots of stuff built right in here. Um, yeah, here's the share, pass it on thing for the for social media. See, I said activate social media. I select my call to action. I, I put in the, the text of the tweet that I want to be sent. Uh, do I want to use Facebook and checked off? Long story short, you just do that stuff and all this stuff right here is taken care of with these buttons that are, if I click this button, it, it sends my exact tweet off to Twitter. Um, it's really, really, really convenient. Let me show you another page where I have um, the blueprint video, which a lot of you guys probably watch. See this whole, the player and everything built right in? That's all taken care of by Optimized Press. It's all built right into this thing. And let me show you uh, what page do I have that on. Here it is, the blueprint video. So here again, we have a, a, a little bit of text, a few short codes, but if we go down here to video, there it is, activate video. I put in the URL to the video. The uh, iPad and iPhone compatible one, which is just an MP4 typically. If you want a still image before they hit play on the video, you just plug that in. It's all done. If you want to use an, an external uh, player like YouTube or something like that, you can do it. If you want to use something like Easy Video Player or Easy S3, uh, you can do that as well. So there's a lot of flexibility here, but the good thing is it's all built right into Optimized Press. All right, so at the end of the day, I just wanted to kind of show you behind the scenes. What this is, is a, uh, it's like click a few buttons and you've got yourself a launch funnel set up. So all you got to do is, you all you have to do is come up with your text, you know, like uh, if you're going to do a sales letter, you have to write your copy. I mean, they, these guys can't do that for you, right? So you just got to write the stuff. Um, if you want to have some images of your product that you're selling, you're going to have to do that. But as far as the de design of the sales letters and your membership portals and everything, it's all can be taken care of with a few clicks and just choosing a few options. 
inside of Optimize Press. And I, and it's, just, it's a real, real time saver. So here's the thing. Who is this for? This is not going to be for the typical just blogger who's just doing everyday blogging. If that's what you are, then you don't worry about Optimize Press. It's not for you. Who it is for is anybody who is taking stuff that I say to earnest about the idea of selling your own product and you're looking to make some money this year. Um, realize that even if it's just an ebook that you're going to be putting out, um, you launch this thing with, with Optimize Press because you can have a launch funnel for it. It's all automatic. You can not only that, with Optimize Press, you can do a perpetual funnel so that when, so it's always in launch mode. It's really fantastic. That's difficult to pull off if you're trying to program it by hand. Um, so it doesn't matter what you're going to be launching, or even if it's just a free ebook, you can use a squeeze pages with Optimize Press to build your list really nicely because these are very well designed squeeze pages. Um, it's 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 fantastic if you're doing anything, even remotely related to marketing anything on the internet. So that's why I'm excited. Well, that's why I've got a love fest with this theme. I'm going to be using it, um, and I have used it, and uh, I highly recommend it to you. And uh, I will talk to you soon. See you later.